This is for Kevin Zamar Goki. Um, the first and foremost uh, issue that I think you have with this as a whole is just the atmospheric perspective. Um, that's that's what I would kind of say is the first thing. Um, let's just kind of go here. Um, so basically what you're doing is your saturation levels in the foreground are the same saturation as the midground. And so just by simply taking out said midground, this guy here, and something like Kind of went in the wrong spot here. So you've got this um, this piece here. I'd probably take something like that, and let's just clean up. All right. Oops. So you've got this, you know, this mid ground here, and the problem with it is you need to almost lighten it up a little bit and desaturate it just a hair um, and that's going to kind of sell um, sell the background and then what I would do is subtract let's see here, let's take away this foreground element here and probably something like this um, but then I would even further take the hue and saturation on it down um, to separate it from the background a little bit more um, because what you have going on right now is you've got way too much uh, contrast before and after type of thing going on um, and that's really what's what's kind of selling your your aspect now I kind of did a little bit too much but um, you get kind of that point of how you need to basically create a little bit more emphasis on the middle ground. Um, let's see if I can just, you know, something like that, whereas um, uh, now your foreground is popping a little bit more. Um, I mean, that's a little bit set more saturated than what I wanted to, to do, but it gets the, the idea of um, that across. Um, even if you just kind of change that mid-tone value between the two a little bit more. Um, the other thing I would say right off the bat is that you want to really take a look at your perspectives. Um, you know, taking a look at this guy here, uh, going from here to here, going from here to here. Um, this guy's perspective is kind of from here to here. So you don't really have set things on on the individual perspective points. And so I think that's a, another aspect that you kind of need to um, really kind of work with is just creating a, a better perspective um, because it, it automatically feels like something's off here, um, especially since this one doesn't really even touch it. Uh, and this guy here is, it, again... Um, doesn't touch it and it sounds stupid but that little bit of offness we we kind of realize what's going on with it and we say okay something's not right and so we look at things like that and we're 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 instinctively you know it just doesn't look right um, and then especially when you've got your vanishing or your horizon line off as well um, the, the it's it's just a little bit off in, in a number of different ways. So that's another thing that you need to kind of really push as far as your um, your perspective and, and things like that. Um, the other thing I would say right off the bat is that you want to separate the character because you barely see that this guy is in here and so you want to separate that character. Um, 
another thing you might want to pay attention to is scale. If you want these houses kind of similar, then what you want to do is you want to have uh, these houses basically kind of match up. Um, and what I mean by that is looking at this, you know, this guy is about sitting, so he's about half. But if you if you double the half up, he's just about as tall as the doorway. Um, especially when you put him in perspective. Um, when you put him in perspective, he's kind of hits his head on the doorway every time he walks in. Um, and so that's that's another aspect that you you want to. Uh, really pay attention to as far as that goes um, and then pop this like I said pop this guy out a little bit more um, and so by doing this you know you want that those darks in there too so you can you can pop a little bit more of the doorway out um, and this character can be popped a little bit more out um, and it's it's not much you just want to create a little bit of a little bit more emphasis on him and his lighting. Um, the other thing is kind of what your your shadow information. You really don't have much. Um, you've got you've got basically things going um, you know from this standpoint you've got uh, things going in this direction. But I see no. I would see a shadow, um, you know, cut here. So this would be, you know, a little bit lighter. I would see a shadow, um, probably cut in this doorway here. Um, you'd probably, depending on the angle of the light, you'd probably see some more shadow here, which you've got a little bit, but it's way too steep for what your what your angle of your light is. Um, I would see more shadow over here. Um, so things like that, I would really put in more of an emphasis on. Um, and that's kind of what I would tell you to kind of work on to just kind of improve this piece. All right.